So we have the model finished from phase one. We now have some changes that need to be made. Luckily, it's not many changes. However, some of these changes might mess up the model based on the decisions I made when we created this at first. I'm thinking especially that coordinate system. So let's see how we do. All right, uh, let's get started. The first one, I'm gonna take care of two of the changes here by editing the definition of that coordinate system. And I'm gonna change this now to 45 and then the angle to 55. And that will take care of two of the changes just like that. All right, we're good. Ignore the fillets for now. We're gonna just have to fill that in later. Um, that's gonna be something we do last. The only other thing that I'm looking at is here and it looks pretty good to me. Oh wait, no, 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 oh man. <laughs> All right, so that's not looking so good. Um, if this were the real competition, this is the, the point in time where I would end up just not even continuing, I would just give up. But let's take this as a learning opportunity so that we can work together and try to figure out what's going on here, all right? So I wanna just do this as quickly as possible. Let's pretend um, this is like a, a model that we got and we need to do some imported geometry type work on it. And let's just fix this little nub, if you wanna call it that, that's going on, all right? I'm gonna use the rollback bar and go up above the rib. And now I can really see what's going on there. Um, I'm gonna use some surfacing tools here. So I'm gonna use my delete face, delete one, two, three, four, all of them. I'm gonna delete it all because something's up there and I'm just gonna recreate it really quickly. All right, uh, ruled surface from this edge and this edge to just extend it. I know the distance was 64, so let's do that. And then I'm gonna fill in the gap here. Planar surface, edge, edge, pick the boundary, all right. Now let's knit it all together. One, two, three. Merge, create solid. Last but not least, I'll thicken this guy. And let's put him just anything so that it goes down. Merge result, and we have a solid. There we go. That made quick work out of that. Maybe there's some time left. We can keep going. No, I'm kidding. I already gave up on the competition aspect of it. So that was some direct editing type functionality there to um, to with surface modeling, deleting faces, um, trying to, to make that work. All right, next, the rib. Now the rib here has some uh, funky stuff going on here. And you know what? I'm just gonna delete this because I need to redraw it anyway. So click these two edges again, offset the entity entities and it is 26, but uh, down. Okay, and then my line tool, now I'm adding this to it, straight across. Power trim, the weed whacker, just go over that, get out of there, and now make this tangent, and that should be pretty good for the rib. Boom, we're moving right along here, all right. Now let's just see if everything else works. Um, cut extrude. It's good, but it's got a warning. Maybe the, the face is messed up here. Okay, so could not find face or plane. Let's edit the sketch plane and I'll just redefine it so that it's it knows it has an anchor point. That's part of the thing here, doing changes, trying to make things work. And uh, you really need to just figure it out and just guess and check kind of. Counterboards, they work. All right, the last thing was my fillets. Um, all right, so of course, these fillets are not gonna work because the edges are now missing. So that was my faces, it's, it's all missing. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna clear them all. I'm not messing around here, so I'll do that. And then I'll also uh, pick that face there. I didn't need to pick that edge. I didn't mean to, that edge. Um, and yeah, rotate the model around. All right, hey, and we're good. All right, not too bad, not too bad. All right, how did I do? How did you do? Let's compare my answer to, uh, okay, similar 2,269 grams. 
That's what I got here with plain carbon steel applied. How'd you do? Let me know in the comments below. Um, I hope you enjoyed this little learning exercise here. And I'm just going to uh, click these all, add to a new folder. Um, and I'm going to add a comment to it so we know for later that, hey, uh, comments over here. This was to fix a mistake in the thought process. So save and close. Uh, I can always go back and see that comment now. Comment right there. Yeah, that's why I did that. <laughs> but I really wanted to use that new coordinate system feature. I hope you got some value out of that. And uh, you know what? We can always we can always make it work, right? No matter what. So stay tuned for the next one. We'll see you soon.